with uh, Terry Flanagan, a uh, world title fight being announced for July 11th. Uh, first of all, um, how much do you know about your opponent on uh, July 11th? What I've seen of him is a good, strong fighter. I don't know uh, he's going to come for a fight, he's going to be confident. He's built up in America as the next best thing, the next like Oscar Dalio. But yeah, no, I'm in for a yeah. hard fight. What I have seen of him is very little and the people he's been in with. What I've seen of got on the coming to the end of the career where they've lost a couple of still good fighters but when they've been it they've looked like they've wanted to wanted didn't want to be in there sort of thing. So I don't know on the night when I'm in there with him. I'm going to get it and I'm going to answer him back. No, definitely. And, uh, of course, it's uh, been a late opponent change. Um, did you have a preference of who you wanted to get in the ring with? Yeah, I wanted uh, Ray Belcham, really, but mm. it don't really matter, does it? You don't get easy fights when you fight for a world title. It's going to be an hard fight no matter who I fight. And with him being a young, fight, hungry fighter like myself, it's going to make for a great fight, so... No, definitely. And uh, one of the things that was mentioned during the press conference was it's uh, ten years since Ricky Hatton won that world title. What, what's it going to be like uh, fighting for a world title ten years on from uh, Ricky? It's going to be unbelievable if it can be world champion. Just words can't describe it. I just thought to, to be world champion mm. when I was younger, be unreal. But yeah, now I've got that chance and I'm. And take it with both hands. No, definitely. And you were there ten years ago to see course, Ricky yeah. uh, win the world title. What was that night like? What do you remember from that night? It was electric. I remember just people, remember when Blue Moon came on and it all went dark. And I remember feeling goosebumps, my hair standing up on the back of my neck, and thinking, "Wow, this is unreal. Mm. It was great." Oh, definitely, and of course um, the venue, uh, the velodrome, is right on your doorstep. Uh, it is what, what? a box at the velodrome uh, a couple of times mm. as an amateur and as a professional. I've never been beat there, mm. so it's always the atmosphere in there is always great. Like all the local people, the state of Livon's only across the road, like two mm. minutes away, so. Yeah, people will be able to walk off the estate, which is a good thing. No, definitely. And what, what's it going to be like uh, headlining a show at the Velodrome uh, for, for World Title? Yeah, unbelievable. When they, said, when they said we're trying to get a local show for you mm. to fight Zapida on Bolton Arena or something, and I then put the phone to the manager and said, why don't you tell him to get the Velodrome? Mm. Ricky Hatton's had a World Title fight there at Olds yeah. quite a lot. And, he ended up coming back of it and it was made up. Oh, definitely. And uh, it, it was mentioned again uh, that Ricky has shown his support for you uh, heading into the fight. Is Ricky going to be there? You were there 10 years yeah, ago. Is Ricky going to be I at your fight? I think he will be there, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm going to uh, go to his night at, on the 12th mm. or the 13th, is it? And, uh, of, of June and uh, I'll speak to him and see what he's doing. Yeah, I think he'll, I think he'll be a I think he'll make it. No, definitely. And it's, it's a good um, like time for uh, the Manchester boxing scene again because I think the week after Anthony Crawler's fighting for a course, world yeah, title. Anthony's a good friend. So and, uh, we went to the same school, we grew up fucking in, in the same area yeah. and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll both be uh, victorious next month. No, definitely. And of course, um, in the lightweight division, uh, there was um, Kevin Mitchell fought Linares uh, over the weekend. What did you make of that fight? Did you watch it? And... I thought it was a close fight. I thought I expected more from Linares. Mm. Uh, I thought Kevin Mitchell was going to win it. We weren't really doing anything. Mm. And I had it pretty close. He had Mitchell up until he got stopped. So it was his good chance of winning a world title. And I mm. think it was really unlucky. But... And I mean, one, if you get that world title around your waist, is there is that a potential uh, British domestic fight that you would like to have against uh, Kevin? Or yeah, it's a fight. Everyone always goes on about it. Oh, would you would you fight Crawley? You'd smash him, and mm. you hear people say, "Oh, Crawley, he's got no chance against Crawley." So the public could be split on who they think could win. And mm. he's a good friend. I probably won't like to fight him, but if it, the fight ever happened. Uh, and the money was right then, yeah. Cool, yes. And what, what are your preparations going to be like between now and July 11th? Uh, just the same as same as usual, really. We're just going to uh, train how we always train. I'm going to stay at home with my family and 
go to the gym, which is uh, two minutes away. And train hard, train harder than I've ever trained, but I always train hard, so yeah, I'm going to be ready for it. I'm fit as it is at the minute, so. Yeah. And of course, uh, Britain, they're build it, we're building up a good array of uh, world champions at the moment, and you're looking to add your name to that list. Uh, but we've never had a cha- world champion at the lightweight division, so can make a bit of history there as well. I could, yeah, I could be the first ever English lightweight world champion, mm. which, is, which would be great. I never knew until the other day when someone told me, but most importantly, it's just winning the world title mm. for myself, really. That's something I've always wanted. So, yeah. So, good chance no definitely well best of luck with preparations and best of luck on fight night as well cheers mate thank you thank you so much Terry.